The last 30 years uh, in Asia, we have seen an economic transformation where millions of people uh, will be taken out of poverty, uh, millions of others will be rising to become part of the middle class, and there'll be a new class of millionaires and billionaires. The question is, what effect uh, will this economic transformation have on the values of the Asian youth? What really determines value systems is what we call belief systems. What determines why we value power or fame or money, uh, there's something deeper there, uh, and that's, that's belief systems. So it's not modernity per se, uh, but what modernity does and what technology does is that it makes any changes in values much faster. So if there's a good change in values or a good uh, anything for that matter, uh, that change will be much faster. On the other hand, if that value shift is worse or, or, or less constructive, it'll also be much faster, uh, it'll also be much more amplified, and it'll also have much more of a network effect. This uh, dynamic between modernity and, and the change in values is happening all around the world. But in Asia and many other developing countries, the change is much more acute. Many people are, are doubtful or concerned uh, that there may be a clash uh, caused by the combination of modernity and some of the more traditional values that many Asian societies hold. Uh, there's this illustration of this a young lady who is walking down the street in, in Rangoon. She's young, she's wearing the latest uh, outfit, she's listening to her iPhone with her headphones, uh, and somebody walks up to her and asks her uh, what she's listening to. And she responds by saying that, I'm listening to uh, some meditation recordings that my grandmother gave to me. Both modernity and traditional values can coexist. 